Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter with a real-time video. Um, I wanted to do this because I wanted to share something I've been struggling with and something I'm trying to learn. And also, um, I have had some viewers say they want the real-time videos and um, I figured why not? This is going to be pretty easy and uh, I'm taking a break from painting a bedroom right now. We're doing a big room switch with the kids. They're all switching rooms and it's kind of a madhouse, but uh, uh, so I need a little art break. I need to do some painting that doesn't involve a big roller, basically. So this book I had told you guys about last week, it's really wonderful and I'm really trying to get faster at drawing figures and I love the fashion figures and this was one I sketched last night from, I actually went from this pose here but I changed the hand a bit and um, something I was having, I was struggling just looking at these and sketching them but then I came, I have this tip, I came up with this tip that really helped me and what it was was to lay a ruler down kind of through the neck and along like kind of the center point of the body just kind of so I kind of divide up the figure and get this kind of like plumb line down and then I can see okay how far does this hip come out compared to that middle line how far does that come out and it just for whatever reason having that line in there really um, helped me out a lot and also um, in this book it tells you about drawing these uh, fashion croquis which are basically you can draw them and then you can put them under like tracing paper and draw like more figures from them so you can have kind of like a little cheat sheet but I just want to be able to draw faster but here it kind of shows you kind of how you break up the body and how you can you know place all of the items so I made myself a little cheat sheet here on cardstock so I could have it and so what I did was I divided the um, I divided the paper into nine uh, sections are about one head high or well, they are one head high um, and I just used inches because it was easy and then um, so at the first and this I'm not making this up this is like a this is like a fashion design trick um, at like the first line that's where your head goes your second one uh, the second line is right across kind of the nipple area of your bust and um, then about a quarter of the way down between those two lines would be kind of like the lower uh, part of like a woman's breasts and then the third line would be your waist the fourth is your hips also the third line where it's your waist is also your elbows and then your fourth line where it's hips is also your wrists and then um, the about a quarter quarter of the way down from the hips is where the crotch would land and then um, on the fifth line would be your thighs and then the sixth line would be your knees so you could put a couple circles in there for your knees and then the seventh line is your calves eight line eight line is your ankles and then the ninth line is the floor of course you can lengthen it more a lot of fashion designers do 10 uh, to 12 heads high but I thought that was a pretty um, well proportioned person there actually I think women are actually only about seven heads high and men are eight heads high so it is still a little bit longer but um so that's kind of where I went to um to come up with this and I I didn't record this last night I was I was kind of like oh I don't even know if it's looking right or not so I figured well I'll just I'll just color this now uh, but I did want to share that uh technique with you and show you here my little cheapo palette that I like to use for um for when I am doing my my work here. I'm just going to grab my closest brush, which is actually an acrylic brush because I've been doing some acrylic stuff. And I find that putting my ink out on a palette like that can be very uh, helpful as far as um, being able to control how light or dark my ink is. And then I can go and I can use older inks. You see it will reconstitute because these are a water-based, um, non-permanent, non-indelible ink and they would fade so I'm keeping them in my sketchbook. Uh, this is actually my Jane Davenport journal here and I just want to give her a little bit of um, toning here. I'm going to give her a little bit of a tan since she is obviously a beach girl and um, I really love the poses that are in that book. I want to practice a bunch of those because I want to be able to just kind of like without thinking about it draw a figure and um, that's something that I've done a lot of life drawing classes in the past and I really enjoyed that but I got out of practice because we don't have any um, we don't have any nearby so I figured this is gonna do this will have to do for now you know we rarely ever have perfect situations you know as artists we have to make do and we can make do or we can make excuses and I don't like to make excuses well, I, I, you've read my blog, I do make excuses, but uh, like why I haven't had any ink to wear for the last few days. But I don't like to, I do, but I don't, I like to. Uh, so, 
Of course, I'm making a big old excuse right now by not being up. So oh, that's silver. We don't want to do that in the skin. Well, I guess it would kind of look like an avatar person, I guess. Let's get a little brown in there. Right there. It's just so much easier than trying to uh, put it on there directly from the marker. You could also use, you know, any sort of water-based markers. Alcohol pens, I don't think work quite so well in here because they bleed through. And if you want to use both sides of your pages, then you're going to have to like gesso the other side. And I'm going to put a little bit more of that brown down there because I feel like she needs a little bit more of a tan. Well, that's a little bold. Oh, and I just got into some red. Nothing's perfect. That's all right. And then even though she has high heels on and, you know, you wouldn't really be able to stand at the beach with high heels, I'm still going to throw in some, some water behind her. Why not? And let's see, maybe we'll do a nice big cheesy sunshine. Why not, right? Oh, and why don't I grab, actually grab some ink and put it right into there and there we go. That's kind of fun. Give it some sand on the ground. I could probably mix up something to be sand from my palette. I got some silver in there, but that actually would work because uh, sand often has that, those glimmers of uh, mica or glass or whatever is in sand that makes it shiny. Silica, I guess, maybe, I don't know. But she is just totally walking on that sand and those heels. Gotta love that. <laughs> and let's see, let's give her, she's a, she's a summer girl, let's give her some golden blonde hair. We'll try this uh, new mermaid marker. It's one of the golden shiny ones. And we'll give it a little bit of um, warm it up a little bit. Oh, this would have been a good skin color. I should have used this one. This is perfect. Well, it wouldn't really be suntanny though. Okay, let's give her some cool shades. Maybe I'll do that with my brush pen here. My pit pen. We'll color in the I feel like I'm doing a coloring book page, even though I did sketch it. Um, it still kind of feels like that. And then I think I want to give her a cool bathing suit. I think I'll use these paint over pens because I don't think because they're acrylic, they're a little bit more thicker. I don't think they will really bead into the um, skin tone. We'll see though, won't we? I love summer. It's such a care. This is such a carefree drawing. I wonder if I can use, oh, I can use this over the water. It's even going over damp paper. I'm surprised at that, actually. And let's do her sandals, too. All right, and I am going to have to get back to work. Um, just in case, I want to make sure the kids don't run in and start um, creating in the, in, the, in the paint without me. So... Uh, so I'm going to get back to that. But I did want to take a little bit of an art break, a little bit of an inktober. Um, I just love this California girl. Doesn't she look like she's just having the time of her life? Uh, you got to love that. So um, again, you know, if you're having difficulty with proportions like I am, try doing a croquis like this. There are lots of videos on YouTube that shows you how to make a fashion croquis. If you'd like me to show you, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to work that into an upcoming video. Um, but I would urge you to look around YouTube because there are people that are way more experienced than I am. I'm just learning this. So I don't like to really do a video on something unless I know what I'm doing, believe it or not. Um, but that's it for today. Happy Inktober Day. I don't even know what day is this. It's Columbus Day. I'm not sure what day this is for Inktober. I'm so behind. But uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Until next time, happy crafting.